We've got more than 5 million new gun owners this year, and all of us in the industry are concerned about their safety. Well, we can't think of anybody better qualified to teach safe handling than Smith & Wesson pro shooter, Julie Gollum. Due to the tremendous number of new gun owners and the sales of guns just surging, we want to make this pro tip all about you and welcoming you to the wonderful world of shooting sports and safe, responsible gun handling. Now, if you're more experienced, this is a great time to get a refresher and to refer this tip to friends who are new. And the first thing I want to start with is how to pick up a pistol. And you always want to do that with your strong hand, in my case, my right hand. Picking up a handgun in your strong hand gives you the most control, and that's so important. You really want to avoid transferring to your support hand to manipulate the controls, because that increases your chances of having a negligent discharge. Now let's talk about how to safely load a pistol. Notice my finger is straight and outside the trigger guard. That's super important. I'm gonna take my magazine and insert it into the magwell like so. Now, there are a couple different ways I can approach putting the ammunition into the chamber, and the first is depressing the slide stop. Or, I can also pull back on the slide. Now, if I pull back on the slide, I want to make sure that I let the slide move forward so that the ammunition is fully into the chamber and it doesn't cause a malfunction. So let's give it a try. All right, now let's talk about unloading the firearm. Again, my finger is straight and outside the trigger. I'm going to depress the magazine release button, either with my strong hand or my support hand, it doesn't matter, so that the magazine is out. My ammunition is no longer in the gun in the frame, but I still have one in the chamber, as you can see from the loaded chamber indicator. Now, I'm gonna pull back on the slide, make sure that round drops. I'm going to head and lock it to the rear by pulling back pushing up on the slide stop, I'm going to visually and manually inspect the chamber to make sure that I have no ammunition in the gun at all. Now it's important to remember there's no such thing as casual gun handling. You need to be aware of your muzzle direction at all times, and that's the end of the gun. I like to think of it as a gigantic flashlight. Wherever I'm pointing that flashlight is a potential for something bad to happen. So therefore, I want to make sure that I'm aware of where my pistol is pointing at all times. I also want to be aware of where my trigger finger is. In this case, if it's a flashlight, it's like being on the switch of the flashlight. And if I accidentally bump it, that could be a bad thing. So I want to make sure that I keep my finger straight and outside the trigger until I'm ready to shoot. Speaking of which, practice is a very good thing. With these gun handling tips and straightforward safety measures, you'll be able to be ready to go to the range and have a great time. So until next time, be safe and have fun.